Justin Miram joining us now and Justin congratulations uh, last time I had to ask you about a goal and it was a loss so you weren't too excited about that but now you get career assist number 50 and it's a win so you can let it rip a little bit Justin congratulations <laughs> pretty excited but uh, <laughs> the win is everything uh, big uh, big bounce back from from uh, the midweek game so uh, I think just overall fantastic performance from the group from, you know, the first minute to the 90th. You know what I'm happy about, Justin? What's that, that? That you're doing this interview right now, and we're talking about a win and a confident 3-0 win as opposed to you being the leader that you are and, and stepping in front of the camera after losses. So congratulations, and, and I appreciate the transparency and the leadership that you show, my man. Hey, uh, uh, always. Th th this, this team, this group, kind of your role, uh, 50th and 51st assist in your career. Uh, I would assume every time you step on the field or you're preparing for a match, you want to play from the opening whistle, but sometimes coaches make decisions and roles are forged. How did the offseason look like for you from what your role was last year and how you've taken advantage? And I was saying during, during the broadcast, I mean, if, if Pablo's picking his starting 11, you're absolutely one of the first names on the sheet. Yeah, you know, uh, off season, you know, every year, you know, what, Donnie, you're getting older and a lot of young bucks coming in and I really prepared my body and my mind, uh, you know, and I wasn't signed right when the season ended. And, you know, I was just working hard to see where my future was. And, you know, when when Pablo was head coach and um, between the you know front office and Pablo to, to bring me back, you know, I knew I needed to, uh, you know, step it up another gear. And listen, I'm always going to have that fire in me to be a starter. I'm never going to be complacent and, you know, um, I'm going to fight uh, for, for my spot. And if my role is to come off the bench, then that's my absolute role. And, you know, I did that um, pretty well last year. And right now it's to, uh, you know, start from uh, minute one. And I'm going to take that role and do it to the best of my ability. And, you know, uh, just, you know, it's tough because, you know, you get older and, you know, you, you think in your, you know, where is your career going to go? But, you know, this group really you know helps me day in day out training and the coaches and they just give me a lot of confidence and confidence like I said before it's a crazy thing when you're confident and your mind is clear and you know life off the field is good and this organization you know takes care of us that's when you see the you know the greatness on the field because you know everything is set for us off the field so can, can we get Sebastian a homegrown contract I don't know man <laughs> <laughs> are we gonna live in Salt Lake City forever I'm not sure Justin, thanks for joining us. Congratulations yeah, on a couple you. more assists and the win. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, he's got to put that middle finger down. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, guys.